And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Liga Portugal. It's Maritimo up against Sporting. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other. They should still cause problems today. Here's the lineup for Sporting. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre-backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And the match begins. Pedro Gonzalves. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Trincao. Superb block, chance here, in it goes, an early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay, he does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off, that's a good goal. Restarted, 1-0 here. Bruno Shadas. Just the challenge that was required. Nuno Santos. Hidamasa Morita. Ugarte. An alert intervention. Hidamasa Morita. Well, possession seeded. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Costa. Joao Afonso. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Edwards. It's with Nuno Santos. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Vink. Yeah. 
superbly read and executed. As you can see, the visitors have had much less of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And snuffing out the danger. And Sporting looking creative here. But the danger averted for now. Going well. Trincao. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Oh, surely! And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. moving again Costa Bruno Jadas opportunity and it's in this game very much back on as a contest Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Yes, I think he's done quite well in the first half. He certainly looked comfortable on the ball, but he needs one or two other... Well, Sporting with the lead after the first 45 minutes, but this a long way from being decided. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And a substitution in the offing. <laughs> Who can they pick out? And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Corner kick played in. Well, no problems defensively. Pedro Porro. Can he take the chance? Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? <laughs> now, how about the short corner?
A good and fair challenge. Afonso. And the pass, a good one. Determined defending. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Will they get themselves level here? Oh, it was there for him. Well, it's not a good finish, is it? That was a glorious opportunity. Good physical play on a pass that lacks quality. Manuel Ugarte. And sporting in a position of potential menace. And a fine reading of the situation. 20 minutes remaining. There to win it back. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. A very timely interception. Manuel Ugarte. It's with Porro. Good visualization and execution. Ready to fire. What an important piece of defending. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. And they are committed to making the substitution here. And this could really make certain. Not out of the woods yet. And I think the threat has been averted. Bruno Jadas. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. He could pick out a teammate. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Promising sequence. Pedro Porro. Can he put it away? Full credit. And the penalty has been given here. And a substitution in the offing. And a chance maybe to settle this. And a timely penalty save. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. And deciding to go short with this one. Promising move. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed.
Well, impossible to ask footballers to produce magic every single game, and it didn't quite happen for him tonight. Well, he put in a lot of effort, but his finishing wasn't great today, including the penalty. However, it was a good team performance and an excellent win.